Hey you guys, so today I have a tutorial for this look right here. It is inspired by a Kat Von D makeup look. Now, kind of funny story, so my boyfriend Jake and I were hanging out on the couch and we were playing with the new like Snapchat filter where you can like switch faces with like people in your gallery. So I just wanted to switch faces with a bunch of different people so I took screenshots of a bunch of different people and of course I took a screenshot of Kat Von D because everybody tells me that I look like her and so I just wanted to see like what I would actually look like with her face and it was this picture right here. I'll like link it down below so you guys can see it without this horrible glare from my ring light. But it's a really, really cool look that she did where one eye was really bold, the other was just kind of a standard, like, neutral, smoky eye, and I just loved it so much that I really, really wanted to recreate it for you guys. As well with this video is, since it is a Kat Von D inspired look, what better to add to this video than by we're sharing with you guys some cruelty-free synthetic brushes. I don't talk about brushes much, like sometimes I'll, I'll throw one into my favorites or I'll, like, I'll mention what brush I'm using, what I'm using my eyeshadow, but I really want to specifically talk about synthetic brushes that are cruelty free as well, just because I feel like so many times we can just like go to like one brand, and there's so many more brands you guys can choose from. Some of my absolute favorites are Wet n Wild brushes and e.l.f. brushes, and those are super affordable, and they're both cruelty free and synthetic. I am trying to switch all of my brushes over to synthetic hair. Even if I wasn't cruelty free, natural hair, like, natural hair on my brushes just kind of freaks me out. Like, I don't buy fur. I don't want to support the fur industry. I don't, like, do anything with real fur. So why would I want to, like, use it on my brushes? It just kind of freaks me out, like, aside from, like, the potential of animal cruelty. You know, aside from that, it just kind of is kind of gross to me. So I've been trying to switch all of my brushes over to synthetic brushes, and going along with that, I was just sent this um, pack of brushes from Furless. It looks like that. I think this is called the Purple Power Pack. I will have it listed down below for you guys, and I do have a coupon code. Um, it's Kitty15, and you get 15% off your purchases. This is not sponsored. I want to tell you guys this is not sponsored. But I do want to make it a point to share with you guys brands that are specifically making it a point to be like, hey, we are cruelty free, we are anti-animal testing, we are anti-animal cruelty, and all of our stuff is vegan. So I just want to share with you guys some of these like kind of more indie brands that stand for really good things. Not sponsored all from me little heart, but I just wanted to show you guys it, and they're pretty reasonably priced. So all the brushes that I'm going to talk about, again, are reasonably priced, synthetic, cruelty-free brushes as well, just to kind of, like, add in and, like, make it a little bit different than a standard, like, makeup tutorial, even though this is in no way a standard makeup tutorial. Our bugs, we're gonna move on, we're gonna move on. So, you guys, if you want to see my favorite synthetic brushes and how to get this Kat Von D inspired look, then please just keep watching. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, first, I'm just going to prime my skin, and I'm gonna use my NYX Color Correcting Liquid Primer. Um, this is the yellow one, just to kind of illuminate the skin, because this does give a really, really pretty, just like super subtle, um, like luminosity, but to also counteract the little bit of redness that I, that I have going in the center of my face. Foundation, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation, and this is in the shade Porcelain, and I'm going to stipple that on to my face using my Furless PF5 brush. So I'm just going to dot some all over my face. This shade matches me so dang perfectly. It's insane. And then just start stippling this in. This brush is definitely different from what I'm used to using, so it's kind of weird to get used to because it's not very dense and it's kind of flimsy, but like, I really, really like how it applies my foundation. It's just like really good stippling brush. Okay, then I'm going to do a little bit of color correction. I'm just going to use my Pixi Under Eye Brightening Concentrate. I'm just using this um, with this little Real Techniques uh, duh, 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 Deluxe Crease Brush. And for concealer, I've been trying out this Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, and I am in the shade Porcelain. This stuff smells like straight up freaking perfume, and I can't tell if I like it or not. Like, I 
I would like it if it was in a soap, but the fact that it's in a concealer kind of freaks me out, you know what I mean? But it does have really good coverage. And it's a nice pale shade, which is always nice. And I'm just going to blend this in with my Real Technique sponge. And I'm also going to bring whatever's left onto my lid to prime my eyelids. And then to set my under eyes, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades. I'm almost out of them. It makes me so sad. And I'm going to set my under eyes using the Furless. This is the PF3 brush. It's just a nice, short, angled brush. I'm going to blend that one more time. These little angle brushes are seriously some of my favorite. I'm just going to pat that on my under eyes. Just because you can do so much with them. You can set your under eyes with them. I love contouring with these brushes. I mean, you guys know the Morphe brush has been my favorite, but this one might replace it. It's so nice. And then I'm just going to clean it off real quick because I want to use this for contouring later. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my e.l.f. daily brush cleaner and a little rag that I have here that I use to clean my brushes with and set that aside for later. Then we're going to quickly set my face with my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It as always. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. complexion brush to set my face. Again, as always, this is one of my favorite brushes of all freaking time. Okay, let's move on to the eyes because I'm just way too excited and I just want to move on to the eyes, so let's go. Okay, first I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Now, I have been using the Anastasia Brow Definer for the past two weeks or so, but the brush set comes with this tiny little angled brush, and I swear to God, I have yet to find a dupe for the Anastasia number, number 12 brushes. All of the brushes that compare to it are just way too, like, they're, like, just too short or too long or they're too dense. Like, the Anastasia brush is just so perfect because it's so tiny, you're really able to just mimic those little brush strokes without it being, like, too clunky. And this looks so similar. Like, so similar. They're both really, really thin. So I'm going to go back and use my Dip Brow Pomade. And with this, this is the PM1 um, brush, and I'm just going to see if it's like the Anastasia brush, because if it is, I'm going to be so excited, because I swear to God, like, Makeup Geek, Morphe, Elf, um, what other ones do I have in here? Like, all the ones that I've tried are just too dang clunky for, to be a dupe of the Anastasia brush, so let's see. Oh, I just wish I had a spoolie on the end. I guess that kind of stinks, but... Oh well. Okay, honestly, it's not a dupe because it's a little bit flimsier. The Anastasia one is just stiffer. It really doesn't, like, you know, bend a lot, but... I really do like it, and it's the closest thing I've found. So, not a dupe, but still a really good brow brush. So I'm going to go finish my other eyebrow real quick off camera. Okay, brows are done, and I really like how they turned out. But I went a little ham and messed up a little bit. So I'm going to take, this is the Furless PM2 brush. It's just a tiny little concealer brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my NYX uh, Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And we're just going to clean that up. I'm going to start off with the neutral eye. Now, in the picture she did, she did kind of a, like, kind of smoky colored sort of look where it was kind of like silvery grays into blacks. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I basically want to do the matte version of that. So I'm going to be working right in this middle quad of the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm going to first take this middle shade, and I'm going to take this on the PE1 brush from Furless. And we're just going to apply this all over our crease on just one eye. I've been really, really liking angled brushes lately. Like this one and the one from Lab 2 Beauty that I've been using all the time. The uh, Put a Lid on It Angled Shadow Brush. I don't know what it is. I never thought I would love them as much as I do. But I really do. And then I'm just going to dip into this like brownish gray color. This is really just going to be kind of a standard kind of black and gray smoky eye. So I'm just going to stamp this right in my outer corner 
and pull it into the crease. And then just blend it out. Then we're going to start to bring it up a little bit higher just because I do have a lot of like crease space. So I'm just going to kind of make it a little bit more dramatic and bring that color up a little bit higher. Okay, and then just to deepen it up even more, I'm going to take this Lab 2 I'm Turning Pro eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to dip the tip of it, because it kind of comes to a point, so I'm just going to dip the tip of it into the black. I'm going to keep my eye open for this, and just place it right in that outer crease, and just move it back and forth to blend. So once it's blended a little bit, I'm just going to go back with the PE1 brush, and that kind of dark brown gray. And I'm just going to pat over it on my lid um, just to blend it a little bit more. Okay, and then for the lid color, I'm just going to take the creamy white and I'm just going to pack this on my lid. And I'm using the Furless PE2 brush. I'm just going to slightly highlight my brow bone while I'm at it. Just taking again the, my, the matte white. Okay, and then I always go back and just blend where the lid color and the crease color meet. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the Stroke of Genius, Genius eyeshadow brush from Lab 2 Beauty. And I'm going to take the same grayish brown that we used first in our crease. Well, I mean the darker one that we used in our crease. And I'm just going to drag that back and forth all the way to the inner corner and then back out. Okay, and then we're going to leave that IB for now. So now I'm going to dip in to my Makeup Geek Favorites palette. It's just one I created with individual shadows. I'm first going to take the shade Mango Tango for this eye, and we're just going to buff that in our crease. So I'm going to be using my Sigma E40 brush. So Sigma uses only like synthetic hair, even like their E25, which looks like goat hair. It's not, which is really awesome. So I'm just going to keep this pretty low in my crease. And we're just going to buff that back and forth all up in there. I'm really going to build this color up, but I'm not taking it too high. In the picture, it was very, like, very, not very blown out, but like semi-smoky. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to take a little of that on my lower lash line as well. I'm really focusing on the inner corner because the orange really like went all the way around her eye. Okay, and then I just cleaned this little furless angled brush and I'm going to use that again. And this time I'm going to take Makeup Geek's, if I can hold it, I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Poppy eyeshadow, which is an awesome kind of neon orangey coral. I'm going to load my brush up and I'm just going to start in the crease and work back and forth. Pretty much putting this on top of where we put Mango Tango. And it's okay if this gets on your lid because we're doing pretty much a monochromatic eye, so it's all going to be orange. Again, taking this all the way around the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into my Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm going to take the color Slow Burn. Oh, I love this color. It seriously gives me freaking life. And I'm going to take that on the Stroke of Genius eyeshadow brush. It's just a flat kind of packing brush from Lab 2 Beauty. It's right on our lid. Then I'm just going to dampen my brush a little bit with my All Natural Face Fix It Mist. Then I'm going to also drag this on my lower lash line all the way into the inner corner. I wish I had an orange liner. Ugh! I should have ordered more of those co crazy ColourPop liners. And then I'm just really doing patting motions to make sure that color is super opaque. Is she wearing eyeliner? I need to check. She has black on her lower lash line. And of course she has a wing of liner. Duh. So for the liner on the lash line, ugh. I'm just going to take my NYX Trejo Lee eyeliner. And I'm just going to pop this. I'm just going to place it actually in both water lines because she has black eyeliner on both eyes. Kat Von D is just like the queen of eyeliner. 
as Nikki tutorials. But I mean, she uses Kat Von D's eyeliner, so who's the real, like, master, you know? And then for my winged liner, I'm going to use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I, like, want to try the Kat Von D liner, but I'm like, I like this liner a lot, and it's like six bucks. So I don't really want to pay 20 bucks for it, although I do love Kat Von D. Okay, this eye's a little bit wonkier than this eye, but you guys still love me, right? Okay, and then I think that's it for the eyes. I put on lashes, like, at the very, very end, because I hate wearing fake eyelashes, and if I don't have to for, like, another, like, ten more minutes, I don't want to. So we're going to contour. I'm going to use that same Furless PF3 brush, and I'm just going to take the coolest tone from the Kat Von D Contour Palette and just shape my face up a little bit. So I'm doing my contour kind of higher than I normally would. And then I'm kind of contouring around my cheeks just to give me that like circular definition, you know what I mean? Okay, and then you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of blush in the world, but this blush I just feel like is going to match perfectly. This is the Milani Rose Powder Blush in Coral Cove. So I'm going to take that on my Furless PF4 brush. I'm just going to do a super, super light dusting kind of above the apples of my cheeks, right up here. So it doesn't bring so much attention to the actual apples of my cheeks, still gives a little bit of color. I love this brush for blush. It just tap 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 like it just mm, it's so soft. Okay, and then for highlight, I just picked up these new um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powders. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Like the like other ones, the like geometric highlighting powders were crap. Like these ones are so dang good. I'm going to use the color Precious Petals, and I'm going to use that with my I'm Turning Pro Foundation brush. Um, it's just a long kind of thin brush. I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. Because the highlighting brush I usually use is not vegan. It's not synthetic, so. I want to try that? Ooh. Oh my. Yes. Do you guys see that? You'd have to be blind not to see that. I actually do really like this brush. You can just kind of wiggle it on there. And I'm just going to highlight very carefully down the center of my nose. And then on the tip. I'm honestly just trying to make myself look as much like Kat Von D as possible. I get that I look like her a lot, but I just kind of want to see how much I can look like her, you know what I mean? And she has a very slim, slender nose. Okay, I'm going to go put on fake lashes real quick, and then we'll come back and we will finish the lips. Okay, let's move on. So, in the picture, she had pretty much a lip color that matched this eye. I, one, don't have a lip color like that in my collection, and two, want to do something a little bit more neutral, so I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. You guys can see how much this is used. Like, look how rubbed off the frickin', like, name is. I keep this in my purse. I use it all the freaking time. It's my favorite lip color of life. It's my favorite lip color ever. This color might be sold out right now, but if it is, Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick is like a perfect dupe. Okay guys, so that concludes this Kat Von D inspired makeup tutorial, plus all of my favorite and awesome cruelty-free synthetic brushes. So if you guys found this video helpful or you enjoyed it in any way, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!